pregame.com. Friday Night NBA, Toronto at Philadelphia. My best bet is this game, and it's coming up in just a moment. But, Marco, I wanted to start with you. We went against Philly, or I did, I should say. I don't know if you did. <laughs> I went against Philly a couple of times last week. One of those happened to be that game against Toronto and where the Raptors beat them 90-72, to had Brooklyn against Philly a couple of days before that when Philly was off that long road trip, first game back, and Brooklyn handed it to them also. Uh, but Philly was stuck when they played Toronto in that six games and nine nights uh, situation and it was the second of back to back nights by the way the rested team now is the Sixers on Friday while the busier team happens to be the Toronto Raptors in this one you just took everything I had to say <laughs> I <read your> notes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I mean you talk about you know revenge spots and this this is a great revenge spot and I know a lot of people debate whether revenge means anything in the NBA or not and you know I actually group revenge in different categories and this isn't the top of the list but it, it's close to it whenever you got this you know we got to get a snot reference when you get the <laughs> snot beat out of you the way they did 90 to 72 in that uh -huh. game and as you said it couldn't have been a worse spot for Philadelphia right. in that game going to Toronto and now the tables are turned and uh, I got to look at it and say Toronto's playing three games in four nights Philly's rested playing with revenge I think it's a great spot for Philly here and, and Brian Toronto finished 2012 the calendar mm -hmm. year and began the first day or two of 2013 on a nice 8-1 run straight, eight and one straight up run but since then uh, the rest of January so far three wins they've held their opponents to 79 72 and 78 points in four losses the three and four the last seven as of Wednesday night in four losses they've allowed 105 104 107 and 113 points they are the defensive fondue of the NBA which basically means you can dip in you're not sure what you're going to get out <laughs> That, that's a reference we never used before. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty I don't impressed. know if I want to go from snot to fun, dude. <laughs> I don't know. But anytime it has something to do with food, you got our attention. Uh, you know, Toronto's only wins lately come against teams that have really struggled. Philadelphia and Charlotte. Uh, you take a look at Philly. I mean, they, they got to have this game. I mean, they've lost 14 out of 18 games. On deck, they play San Antonio, and they got a trip to Milwaukee, and then they host the Knicks in Memphis. Mm -hmm. This is a you know, you hate to say it's a must win, but this is a must win game for Philadelphia. But what's interesting to me is the Sixers are a team that made more, one of the slower paced teams. They don't get up and run. But uh, only twice of the last 13 games have they reached triple digits. That was against the Houston and Lakers, two teams who like to run. They actually won both of those games. So it makes you wonder, would Philadelphia be better off if they picked up the pace a little bit? Yeah, loosen up the reins maybe yeah. a little bit. Anyway, this one's my best bet. Well, you know, you've got Toronto play the third game in four days. And as I said a little bit ago, they are the unrested team going up against the situational team, that, or the team that's in the better situation in the 76ers. When I played against Philly a couple of times a week or so ago, they were in horrible spots. The game they lost by 18 to Toronto, the game they got killed at home against the Brooklyn Nets. But not in this spot. And I think Brian's right. This is a game that Philadelphia is going to go into knowing they've got to have this game. Now, got to have a game and winning it are two different things. It's not a lock, obviously but I think they're in a great spot. They were embarrassed by the Toronto Raptors in that game. More importantly, they were embarrassed by their own performance shooting the basketball. And I think that's more of a revenge angle than revenge itself when it comes to professional sports. You were embarrassed with yourselves rather than getting back at the team that beat you. So anyway, here you got Toronto coming in tired. They're worn out. Philly's going to be fired up and rested. And Toronto's 4-16 and 16 on the road this season as we cut this video. So I'm going to back the Sixers here. At Toronto last time they met, going to go with the Sixers in this one. That's my best bet on Friday. NBA card. When we come back, plenty more NBA, college basketball, NFL. That's all right here at pregame.tv.